Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to the channel, and if you guys are ready for an awesome little exhaust adventure that look no further, for today, we're gonna install a NVIDIA dual M1 exhaust on my brother's 2015 Subaru WRX. So, without further ado, let's hop into that video. It's actually a 2016 Limited, but who knows? Who's counting? <laughs> What's up, guys? As I was saying, good morning everybody, and welcome to today's video. As you can tell in the description or in the title of this video, I'm going to be helping my brother install an NVIDIA exhaust on his WRX. Yes, I'm going to be helping him install that. First time working on a Subaru. Should be fun. I told you guys I'd give you some content on the Subaru. He has a WRX 2015, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and install that today. Not going to be too in depth, but I figured I'd show you guys because it is car related and that is the rival of our rally our gang you know so let's go ahead and drive down to my mama's and uh, we'll meet up with my brother and there it is by the way look at this JDM gang right here we got a Honda got a Camry WRX and a tundra <laughs> so change of plans we're not doing it here we're gonna do it over at my house and we can't fit the exhaust in his car or my car so we gotta take the truck and hit him with a cold start we're in florida so i don't know how cold that's gonna be but granted here's his stock exhaust It was good to be high. Let's give this girl a good, nice little start. Man, it is crazy hot today. It's already 84 degrees out. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. And all I did was plan on washing my car and watching football because today starts the regular season. I'm a Dolphins fan, so not much to look forward to, but Regardless to say it is football. But now that we're going to my house, I don't have to really rush. I can watch the game and help install my brother's car stuff. And buckle up for safety. <laughs> it takes like two seconds. But yeah, we had to do the install over at my house because there's no room in my, my mom's driveway right now. And uh, which is kind of better because I have a lot more tools at my house. I guess we do need something crazy. One of the sad facts is I have exhaust hanger, uh, like a removal tool, and uh, I can't find that at the moment. So it might be kind of hard to get the stock exhaust off of its hangers. All right, so what type of exhaust setup are you gonna get? Uh, well, we have the full turbo back, but we're just gonna do the cap back today because I don't have a, I don't have a map tune set up with my access port. This is the uh, Nvidia Dual M1 exhaust. All right, well, let's crack it open. Let's get it done because it's already freaking hot outside. So first things first, you can open up the box. We'll have to get the car up on jacks, which fortunately I have four sets of jacks so we can get this car up and uh, ready to go. Looks like it's packaged pretty good. All 
All right, one side is lifted. Got some good access there. And that danky screw for your lip. We gotta tighten that. <laughs> Test fit. Take a look under the car. I got touching here and back today. And I guess he has his downpipe and everything for a later day. And I can already tell this is rusted. We'll have some fun with that. We got WD-40, PB Blaster, and stuff like that, just in case. So he did. He used to live in Minnesota, so he had some snow and everything. I was blessed to live in California when I did my exhaust, so mine didn't look halfway as rusty. All right, tooling for you guys. You're gonna want a 14 millimeter for the bolt head, and a 10 millimeter for the nut side of everything. And from the looks of it. That looks like that's all you're really going to be needing. And if you want some exhaust pliers, some exhaust hanger pliers, I'd probably help you guys out a lot, but I can't find mine at the moment, but we can still make it work. Whoa. Whoa. You liked it the whole time, dude? Oh, shit. <laughs> you trying to fucking kill me? Alright, <laughs> we're putting a pause and everything because we could have just died. Somehow, this jack right here uprooted itself and it's floating on two legs. It's a good thing my brother saw that, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So, word of advice check your jacks before you get underneath the car. That's a death trap waiting to happen. So, uh, that was definitely flat on the ground while we started, so just do yourself a favor and don't check if you guys ever get underneath your car. All right, back in business. All of our jacks are in place and leveled. Proceed. But let me go ahead and show you guys what's underneath here. So you got one muffler, two muffler for the uh, quad tips. Comes down to a Y. So you're gonna have a couple hangers in here. So there's one right there. Alright, and up on the side of the muffler, there's one there, and I'd assume there's another on the other side. And there it is. It's two hangers per each muffler. <coughs> Got one over there after the Y. And it looks like it's a straight shot after that. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well that's one way to do it. That's how rusted that was. Look at this. That's Look at that. Snow and salt. Snow and salt right there. There you go. And that shit just freaking busted. Which tells me your gasket's probably all rusted up too. That's not what you ideally would want to happen, but since this is going away and we have hardware for the new stuff, that's kind of okay today. I'm going to show you guys what just happened actually. So this spring actually bounced all the way out from underneath the car over here. And uh, here's your bolt. And look at that, it sheared right off. Here's your nut. It sheared right off. Man, bad lighting. That's crazy. Alright, under further investigation, we realized we didn't really have to take off from this point because he's got a cat back. So here's his resonator. We actually gotta head all the way forward. Up to right there, so we're gonna be replacing from there all the way down. It's good, so all that rust can leave. Yeah, so we'll say goodbye to all the rust. But at least now we know that was that was kind of cool to look at. Look at all the extra debris down here. But yeah, so our main focus is gonna be to there, cause that's where his cat is. All right, so here's our setup. Here's the new pipe that's gonna be going on. And we're going to be working all the way up to this little, I think that's a resonator. So we got one bolt off that you saw that snapped. We have it halfway off, we've got to continue to get that off, and then we'll work our way back. Alright. Checkpoint number one, done. Got both bolts off. 
Just a heads up, that bolt is long as fuck. So just keep going away at it. <laughs> so we're done here. We're gonna head out over towards the mufflers. Get those off the hanger and that should just slip right off. All right, exhaust is off. Thanks to the help of exhaust pliers, hanger pliers, whatever you guys wanna call them. Highly recommend you guys grab them. Makes your job a lot easier. But exhaust is off. And here it is, now that it's in the sunlight, I'm gonna show you guys all the rust on here. Now if you guys do own Subaru, you probably know. Look how fat these mufflers are. That's something I definitely wasn't used to on my car. But uh, look at this rust. All rusted out. So that's the setup, huh? That's pretty cool. It's got a little Nvidia. I wonder if that's visible from behind the car when it's up. Alright. Alright, before we go ahead and throw it up, let's do a little comparison between the stock and the new NVIDIA. Just look at the mufflers. As ridiculous. So was that three inch? I assume. Yeah. Three inch piping. Stock rusty piping. All right. Well, let's go ahead and throw it on because it's freaking hot outside. Oh. All right. That's good. In the midst of installing one of the last few bolts on there, it actually snapped. And I actually have my stock cat back back here. Well, this is the mid pipe. I'm trying to find something that would fit it, but everything looks a little too big for what we need right now. But this is a nice little size comparison of a 2015 Rally Art and a WRX. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. We got everything on there. You want to show them? He's got the, what are those called? Titanium tips? Yeah. Burnt, burnt tips. You know, you probably showed, you should probably show that to them after we know it's good. <laughs> so we're going to start the car up for the first time and then do a leak check. there. We only got one more to check. I know we're probably crazy. We almost end that video without doing a couple revs for you. So he's gonna go ahead and jump in right now and we'll go ahead and do that. Call me biased, but I still think mine sounds better. No, <laughs> Anyways, you I want to say thanks boost. for watching, everybody. Once again, thanks to my brother. He's got his 2016 WRX Limited, and we just installed that NVIDIA catback exhaust. So if you guys liked that video, give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. And then more future mods coming for this, and then my car as well, which is over at my parents' house at the moment. <laughs> So, got everything pretty much cleaned up and we're gonna call it quits here. Miami, hey, hey dude, we got blown out today. I think the final score was 62, 59, no, to, 10. 59 to 10. Kind of embarrassing, but we're looking for the future. It's only downhill so. from now, next week you got my Hashtag tank for two <laughs> Alright, with that being said, never live your life on idle and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.